Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hana. This is Jar of Fireflies and here you'll find videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. And today I've been keeping a secret. Do it, do it. <laughs> Whisper it. I'll say it out loud. Why? They will know. Bella already knows. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them now. Okay, guys, today I've got a huge, huge announcement. If you read the title of the video, you probably already know, but we're having a baby. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited to finally be able to share this news with you guys. Okay. Whew, that's the big news. We're having a baby. Okay. Let's back up just a little bit. Okay, yes, I am pregnant. We are having another baby. I am so super duper excited. Okay, now I obviously did not just find out. You couldn't tell there from the belly. It's been going on here for just a little bit. Okay, so it is a cultural thing in Judaism that we do not talk about a pregnancy until later in the pregnancy. And, and really, I never make any kind of announcements. This is a little bit unusual for me, but I wanted to be able to share this news with all of you guys. So I'm kind of having to make an announcement. <laughs> we have told our, our family, obviously, and close friends and things like that. Like people know that are here in my life. So I feel comfortable being able to share this news with you guys now. Okay, so yes, I have been pregnant for a little while now. Um, I do over the summer. That's about as specific as I get. I, I tend to be a little bit secretive still about my pregnancy. So yeah, I just say, if people ask me what I do, I just say over the summer, which really a due date is, who's, who has a baby on the due date? Not that many people. I never have, that's for sure. I always go after the due date. So even if I gave a due date, it would be a little ridiculous because I'll have a baby like two weeks later. So yeah, I'm gonna be pregnant for a very long time. <laughs> But that's okay. I enjoy being pregnant, even though like sometimes it's a little, you can ask my kids. I throw up a lot. <laughs> yes, you did. yes, I did. I'm still throwing up a lot. So that's super fun. Sorry, that's TMI. It's really cute. This morning I was not feeling well. I was a little bit sick and my toddler goes running from the room going puke alert, puke alert, puke alert. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> My boys are in here with me. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but my kids are super helpful and awesome. So that is great. But yeah, the mornings have been a little bit rough and that's why I've not been doing like the full length day in the life where I start out with the whole morning routine because my, mor my morning routine has vastly changed because I feel so bad in the morning. I feel so bad most of the day which is great. And, and yeah, I still do. It's starting to get a little bit better, but um, yeah, yay, morning sickness. What else? Uh, we have not discussed any baby names whatsoever. I do have a short list of baby names that I came up with even before I got pregnant, just names that I was interested in. So I do have a short list, but I have not discussed those with my husband. So I don't know if we'll actually end up going with any of those. I have no idea what this baby is gonna be named. Yes, we will be finding out the gender. No, I will not be telling anybody. I actually already know the gender, but I will not be telling anybody. What else, what else, what else? Everything is going super duper well. I'm very excited about that. Uh, because I'm in my 40s, I did do the genetic testing this time. That all turned out great. Uh, so yeah, everything is going really well and I'm super duper happy about that. Yeah, so yeah, I am in my 40s. So pregnancy in your 40s, a little bit interesting, a little bit different but it's it's going okay. <laughs> I'll be 41 by the time that I have this baby, so that's different than my other pregnancies. I mean, I've never been a super young mom. I didn't have any kids in my 20s. My husband and I got married when I was already 30, so we had all our kids in our 30s, and now this one, which is gonna be in my 40s, so that's kind of different and exciting. Say a baby again. Say a baby again. It's a baby. Yeah, say a baby Do you want a boy or a girl? Boy, I want a boy. Why you want a boy? Want... You want a boy? My boys want boys. Um, what else can I tell you guys? It's one baby. If there's more than one, it's gonna be a big surprise to me and my doctor. <laughs> We've done quite a few ultrasounds already, so I've seen little hands and feet. It's just, ah, it's so exciting. 
but yeah, things are things are going pretty well, pretty normal, you know, except for all that kind of morning sickness stuff and just kind of feeling gross all the time, like just nauseous and yucky all the time. Other than that, like everything's going great. So I can't complain. I'm super happy about it. And I just, I just wanted to pop on and share the news with you guys. So taking a break from those normal Q and A's that we've been doing here recently, I'll do another Q and A on Monday, but if you have any questions about pregnancy and Judaism and childbirth and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll either try to answer you there or I'll see if I need to put together like a separate video on the topic at some point later on. We won't do something else like a Q&A so soon because like I said, we've got that other Q&A coming up on Monday and I don't just wanna do nothing but Q&As for the time being. I wanna do other stuff too. I wanna, I'm starting to feel like I could probably get back to some day in the life stuff, uh, some week in the life stuff, things like that. But we're also having some fun. We've got some cooking stuff coming up. So lots of fun things coming our way, lots of exciting things. The most exciting thing is that there is a baby on the way and I'm really excited about that. Now, this isn't gonna turn my channel into some kind of baby channel. <laughs> it's not gonna be just baby, baby, baby. Don't worry about that. It's gonna keep being the content that you guys are used to. <laughs> baby channel. It's still gonna be the same content that you guys are used to, but there will be some of this mixed in because as y'all know, this channel is all about my life and this is obviously part of my life now. Okay, so I came into my study and shut the door because I wanted to talk about another aspect of this that I didn't want to discuss like in front of my kids. And that is the fact that this is a rainbow baby. Rainbow baby is a term used for a baby that you have had after a loss. So this baby is after multiple losses. So I'm so grateful and so excited, but like that comes with it. Like, you know, it's the rainbow after the storm. So it's a beautiful, wonderful thing. But along with that, there's been a lot of stress and a lot of nervousness and you know, it's, it has not been easy. It has been, that aspect of this has been very difficult. I'm very grateful that things are going very well. And I feel like at this point, I'm much more relaxed and feeling better about everything. I no longer feel like I'm gonna see a miscarriage every time I go into the bathroom. It's like, it's much calmer now. It's much better. <sighs> so I wanted to just like briefly discuss that also. But yeah, pregnancy after a loss is like a whole other ball game. I have had pregnancies after losses and pregnancies after just a regular pregnancy. So I've experienced both, but this one after multiple losses was definitely very different. And it's different because I'm older and it's different because my kids are older this time too. It's been really fun to be able to like tell the kids that a baby's coming and they actually understand. So that's been a really fun thing also because the kids are so excited. They're very much looking forward to the baby coming. I feel like they really all understand. Even though my youngest is four, he still understands that a baby's coming. I think it helps that a friend of ours, a really good friend of ours recently had a baby. So they've all held that newborn and, and really enjoyed being around him and watching him grow up. Up. And so they really have like, I feel like a solid concept of what's coming our way. <laughs> so one of the things that I'm doing with the kids to, you know, just kind of go along with their excitement is every week I'll print off a picture from the internet that I'll find that of, of like actually how big the baby is. So I, I take the picture and then I size it to how many inches head to rump it says the baby is. And that's been super fun for the kids to see like how it's developing and how it's growing and they'll hold the picture up to my belly and be like, wow. It's actually been really interesting for me too because even though I've had babies before, like really seeing that visual right there, it's like, wow my baby's like this big or, or whatever it is. You know, like that's really neat to see. Ooh, let's talk pregnancy cravings. Okay, with all my kids, I've had certain pregnancy cravings and certain aversions. And with this pregnancy, I haven't found too many aversions yet. I seem to pretty much still like everything, but I'm definitely craving chocolate, which is weird because I'm not usually a huge chocolate fan, but like all I wanna do is eat chocolate pudding and drink chocolate milk and eat boxes of chocolates. So trying to be a little careful with that, but uh, I generally keep like a tub of pudding in the refrigerator. So I can just go grab a bite when I'm feeling like I need some chocolate. So that's been interesting since I don't normally like chocolate that much. Like chocolate's great, I enjoy chocolate, but not like this. This is way different. But yeah, not really a lot of huge uh, food aversions yet. I feel like most of my tastes have pretty much stayed the same. I'm still chomping down tacos and chips and salsa all the time. <laughs> I mean, I cannot get the, the salsa spicy enough, but that's not terribly unusual for me either. Okay, I guess that's it. I can't think of anything else to share right now. I'm sure I'm forgetting plenty, but uh, 
We'll pause it here for now. This will just be a short video with this fun announcement. So thank you all so very much for tuning in. I super duper appreciate you guys. Hopefully we'll get back to some day in the life stuff soon. And uh, when I'm feeling just a little bit better still. <laughs> but um, thanks for hanging in there with me. I really appreciate it and all of your kind words. I'm excited to sharing some of our traditions and things around babies and our customs and things like that as this goes on. So, all right, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would super appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that you hit that bell so that you get all of your notifications and you don't miss any of my videos. I do put videos out on Mondays and Thursdays. Hopefully that will continue. <laughs> if I've made it this far, we're doing pretty good. All right. So with that, we will call this video a close. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload.